we're going to do a proof of the thin lens equation. Here I have a standard ray tracing diagram of an object that is outside the focal point of a converging lens. The focal points are a distance f from the lens, the object is a distance do, and the image is a distance di. Here it is, it's upside down with a height hi. We have the three rays drawn, the parallel focus ray, the central ray, and the focus parallel ray. And what we're going to do is we are going to concentrate on two sets of similar triangles. The first set is consists of this triangle here and that triangle there. These are similar triangles as you can see because these two angles are equal to each other because they are vertical angles or opposite angles um, and we have two right angles here therefore the third angle in these triangles must also be equal so they all add up to 180 degrees. So we have our two similar triangles and therefore the ratios of the same sides of corresponding sides must be equal. So in other words HO over DO the length of this side is DO so HO over DO must equal HI over DI. And bringing both H's to the same side, dividing both sides by HI, multiplying both sides by DO, will give us HO over HI is equal to DO over DI. And that's our equation for the magnification. The standard minus sign that you typically see in front of the DO for magnification is just because of the sign convention that usually we call an object, uh, sorry, an image that is upside down, we say that its height is negative. But yet we call DO, uh, we call DI rather positive when it's to the right of the lens. So we have HO over HI is equal to D over DI, how many times larger the image is compared to the object. So that's our magnification equation. Now what we're going to do is we're going to focus on two more similar triangles. And those consist of this triangle right here. And then this triangle right there. So again, ratios of corresponding sides are going to be equal. And so we have our two similar triangles. This side is HI. This side is F for the smaller triangle. For the larger triangle, the vertical height is HI plus HO. This is HO here. This distance right here is HO. And this distance here is DO. So what we have is HI over F is equal to HI plus HO over DO. And by the way, we're going to treat everything as positive here. We're just dealing with the lengths of the lines. So we're not going to worry about the sign convention. We're just dealing with absolute values, the lengths of the lines. So solving this equation for f, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by f. So we get hi is equal to hi plus ho times f over do. And I want to get f by itself. So I'm going to multiply both sides by DO and divide both sides by HI plus HO. And that's going to leave us with HI DO is equal to, uh, divided by HI plus HO, and that is equal to F. Therefore, 1 over F 
is equal to HI plus HO over HI DO. And then what I'm going to do is to break that up into two terms. So we have HI over HI DO plus HO over HI DO. Well, the HIs here clearly go away. And we're left with 1 over DO plus HO over HI DO. But we know from our previous work up here that HO over HI is equal to DO over DI. So we have 1 over DO plus DO over DI DO. The DOs go away, and we're left with one over F is equal to, after this long chain of reasoning here, one over DO plus one over DI.